Welcome to my video. I am Nikki B and it is good to see you and I hope you're happy to see me. It's been a while. Um, life happens. People get busy but now we're all kind of locked down so I figured this would be a great time to come and present to you a Dollar Tree haul. Um, I want to just jump right into it because if not I'll start rambling. Um, so let's just do that. I'm going to start off with a great find. Today is the 4th of July of 2020. So that is Saturday, July 4th, 2020. And I went to the Dollar Tree today and I found what I am going to label as my pick of the week. Um, and once I show you this, you're going to understand why. I kind of got them out of order here. So I just let me just sort them real quick so that I can present them to you in a quick and orderly fashion. So the first thing, and this is a series um, of what these are. I know I'm like, just show the doggone thing because that's how I'll be yelling at people when I be watching videos. Like, can't you just show it and shut up? Okay, here we go. <laughs> so my pick of the week are these socks from Bum Equipment. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, this is a brand that is a very... Well, it's a name brand, actually. It's a very high quality name brand. And they had several of these. Now, if you look at the thickness of this sock, it's only one pair. But this quality, it, all you have to do is feel it. It is amazing. So when I saw these, they had just put them out. I went to two Dollar Trees. Yeah, two. I went to two Dollar Trees today. And the second one that I went to is where I found, no, I take that back. Did I go to three? No, I went to two Dollar Trees today. And the second one, which is the one closest to my home, is where I found these. So I think they had just put them out because they had a huge display in the front of the store. So they had this version in gray and white. And you see the bottom here. I'm actually wearing a pair right now because one thing that I do not like the socks are cute, don't get me wrong, but I can't work with cheap socks. That little polyester blend, it just dries my feet out. It doesn't do anything for me. These have cotton in them. They also have polyester, but it's a good mix of uh, polyester and cotton. Now, I'm showing you the, this is the woman women's quarter, just so you know that these two are different. And then this is, what do they call this? The women's low, low cut. So there's the difference between the two. This is the quarter and this is the low cut. These are my favorites. I use, uh, I wear these all the time and I decided to try this quarter just to see. Um, I don't generally like a sock to come up high anymore. I just like the, uh, the low cover part. But I got one in each and then they had these other colors and then I'll skim right through these. They had pink and white. This is a low cut. And then this is the quarter in the pink and white. But literally, can you see the thickness? And they feel just as good and thick as they look. And they have that compression at the top. I don't know if you can see that little compression, the ribs, the little crisscross right here across the top area. And then right here, and then going down to here. It feels really great. I'm wearing a pair, like I said, right now, because I wanted to make sure that these were ones that I actually liked. They also had uh, this red. This looks pink on my screen, but it's actually red. Red and black. And that's why I only got... It's weird how this comes across. Oh, no, I'm tripping. It is pink. <laughs> Wait, let me see. Yeah, it is pink. I'm not tripping. I'm just blind. So there's a pink and black one which I like it better on the screen because it's brighter, but it's not as bright in person. Um, and then they had a purple and gray. Now these are both low cut. I did not get these in high cut because I really don't like the coloring. I'm more of the pink and whites and the gray and whites. Now the other good thing about this, let's see. Just to give you a recap of the four, I like to see things all together when I'm being presented with something. So these are the four styles that they had in the store. Okay. Now I'm really close up on this computer, so 
totally this isn't driving me crazy but those were the women's version and then they also had children's they had probably the same color selection in children's and then they also had them in men's so the men's they had this gray and black and this is the men's quarter and when i tell you the quality is amazing in these socks i i wouldn't lie to you those little cute ones with the pizzas and the dogs and the sheep and the Christmas trees and all that stuff, those are fun and cute, but they are not even close to this quality. If you see these socks, get them. They are going to go quickly. This is a men's uh, low cut in gray and white. And then this is the men's quarter in gray and white. And they all say bum on the bottom. Let me just open that up a little so you can see. They say bum on the bottom. I can't remember what the BUM acronym stands for because this was a while back when this style was hot. Um, this is the white and black in men's. And this is the low cut. And then they have the white and black quarter in men's. And then the last color is the red. Now that's red. Red and black in men's low cut. And then they have the red and black in men's quarter. This will make a great gift. You know, men always get socks for Christmas, Father's Day, birthdays, and all that stuff. But the good thing is if you give your man or your brother or whoever the male in your life is, you give them these socks, I guarantee you they will love the quality because I can't stress enough the quality, the level um, of quality these socks possess. They are amazing. They're a great deal. And for those who remember bum equipment, I really can't, I wish I could remember what store these used to be sold in, but remember that name, bum equipment, go get yours right away. All right. I think I've worn that out. Now I also found this, uh, Garnier Fructis, um, color vibrancy treat. What does that say? I'm trying to read it on the screen. Color Vibrancy Treat One Minute Hair Mask uh, with Goji Abstract. So let's open this up and it's kind of thick. Hopefully I don't spill anything. So if I do this, nothing's coming out. So it's a pretty thick and it says it's a one minute hair mask. Um, Maybe I should put some glasses on, how about that? One minute hair mask, color vibrancy treat. So I guess if you have color in your hair, it says naturally 98% um, purified. I can't read that even with the glasses on, that's pathetic, isn't it? See if you can read it, if I can get you the right side. Do you see that naturally 98% whatever that says. Um, but yeah, a one minute hair mask. So I'm looking forward to trying this just for a dollar. It's Garnier Fructis. It's a name brand. And it's got some other wording in here, but I can't read it. That's pretty doggone bad. If you can read that, thank a teacher. But there you go. There's some yeses and there's some noes. What is that saying? Oh, no sealants. Anyways, hopefully you can read that. But Garnier Fructis, name brand, one minute hair mask. Um, let me just do one more thing. Let me just kind of feel. It doesn't feel super, super thick. It, it is thick in comparison. It doesn't just flow out. So it's thick to where, ooh, it smells good. It's thick to where it's definitely gonna cover your hair and it smells very, very fruity, like a fruit smoothie. So I'm looking forward to trying this. Um, and maybe I can get two uses out of that one jar. Moving on, they have these thick, scoochy hair elastics. And this says for thick hair, it's six pieces, the most comfortable elastics ever, larger opening, and it holds more hair. And it specifically says for thick hair, when you turn these around, you see these are uh, nice, big, thick ones like that. Now to compare, they had another one for fine hair. Here's the one for fine hair. It says smaller opening, tighter hold versus larger opening holds more hair. 
Now here's the difference in thickness. And then this one, the smaller one, you get eight pieces. And then the one for thick hair. Fine hair, you get eight pieces. Thick hair, you get six pieces. I don't think they have one for medium hair, but I took some pictures. I'm going to try and get a walkthrough haul up. I did record what they did have in the store. Now, I've noticed a lot of people have been sharing a lot of new craft items. What I found that was new in my craft area were these jump rings. So if you make jewelry, then this is probably a great deal. It doesn't say how many. It just tells you it's 0 0.7 ounces, but you can see yourself. There's a lot in here. So I would say well over 100 jump rings in here for a dollar. And then they also had these lobster claws for uh, 12 piece in lobster claws. So I got two of those just to make it uh, feel like a little bit more. So lobster claws must apparently cost a little bit more money if you make jewelry. I don't know. I also found in the pen and pencil aisle, um, they had, well, let me just first show you. You guys remember, and I know a lot of people have seen these chalk pens, uh, the one piece by <clears throat> Craft. Craft and Decor, Wet Chalk Writer. I was trying to read it, said something about wet. Oh, Wet Erasable. Wet Erasable Mess and Dust Free. That's what I was reading. But yeah, you remember these? I know a lot of people have purchased this, including myself. And they have, they have different colors that these came in. And then this is what it looks like outside the package and this is how thick it is and I'm like it is really like a piece of chalk I thought this was going to be <laughs> like a fine tip and you if you can see behind me um here we go again with this opposite crap all right so you see right there where I'm trying to get to right oh lord right here this is what I used this pen for to write on that label and I thought it was going to be easy to write like in detail, but it is not. So I'm bringing this up to say I found these today. And these are liquid chalk markers. You get three in a pack. And I bought them because I was hoping they would be a lot thinner like I thought this one was going to be. It was kind of misleading because it was the only one in the package. But I guess when you think of chalk, chalk is thick, it's not like a pencil. So I'm gonna open this one up and see how thick these are. What? Oh, I was gonna say it looks just like that one, but it is that one. So here's the, <laughs> the new one. Now this obviously is Dollar Tree, well, I guess Pro Max is Dollar Tree brand. Does it say made in China? Uh, Pomona, California. Maybe it's not Dollar Tree, but it's Pro Max. Pro Marks, I'm sorry. Pro Marks is this brand. And three in a pack, though, that's a great deal compared to this one package wonder right here. So here's the one that the Pro Marks brand, and look at that. This is what more of what I thought the other one would be. Now, it's fairly thick, so let's compare again to this one. So here's the difference in thicknesses. I can't even see my damn self. Okay, look at uh, it's a huge difference. Put them up a little higher. You see that? Oh heck yeah. So this one you get more, but this one I'm hoping it's gonna be easier to write on. So let's see. Uh let's see if I can come along here. Let's see what's in this package. I'll just put miscellaneous. Oh, yeah. This is much easier to use for writing. So if you want a thin tip, if you see this three pack, then this is the one you want. If you thought this was going to be thin, think again. Because again, look at the difference between the differences between the two. That's huge. And all these tags and labels that they're making, these chalk like these and then they have the little clothespin ones and all that they're small so to use 
to try and, and white with this, you know what I'm trying to say, to try and use this large one to write on those labels, it's kind of uh, unrealistic if you want like a nice, fine kind of wording. So just beware. Um, and I bought a lot of these because I have a lot of labels that I'm going to be using to label stuff with. And I'm going to take some of those back and exchange them for this three pack. Now, the only thing I'm kind of concerned about is I don't know if this craft and decor brand is going to la last longer. I'm guessing these can't dry out because they're chalk. So, but this is more like a marker. See, liquid chalk marker. And this says chalk writer. So this feels more like just a piece of chalk. And this feels like a marker and it kind of makes me also feel like this could dry out. So on that note, it says dry erase on whiteboard to wet erase on chalkboards. So I guess the same thing applies with this thin one. You can just uh, wipe it off bright white. It doesn't say like this one erasable. So I hope I didn't just put a permanent <laughs> mark on that other one, but I'm going to assume this is also erasable just like this one but again i'll move on i just wanted to clear that up for myself and for you guys if anybody was wondering the difference be differences between those two uh they also had these snap elastics this is something that i've never seen before it's supposed to be good for your hair easy to remove rubber bands twist on and snap off so this it shows you here on the back where this part twists on where these little humps are. They're supposed to, let's see. See how they have this little part here where they just twist. If I can do it on the camera. Okay. So it, okay. So you got it in there, right? Let's see. And then you twist it, twist it open like that. And then you pop it in there and twist it back on. This is what the back looks like. Hopefully you can see that. Um, so yeah, I don't know if these are gonna work well. They don't, they're obviously not the kind you can just pull your hair up and then just, you know, do like that. These, you're just gonna have to bring it around and snap it. So I don't know how tight that's gonna be. This is something that I have not found before ever are these chocolate chunks. It's the Seiko Pantry, the original Seiko Pantry chocolate chunks. Real semi-sweet. Uh, it says make bigger and bake better. Bake bigger and bake better. And then they have a recipe here for the original chocolate chunk cookie. And uh, this is probably, I guess, equivalent to a bag of chocolate chips, but because they're chunks, maybe that's why the packaging looks a little smaller. But I love to get this. Um, they didn't have any of the chocolate chips that I normally get, and I saw these, so I'm like, oh, this is this will work. And um, I got some pecans. I normally get walnuts, but I guess they're not in season because I haven't seen those in a while. But I love to put these. Ooh, to put these two ingredients in my banana nut bread. I love making my banana nut bread. I've been making it throughout this pandemic. It helps me to not throw away my bananas as they get older and it tastes really good. So the pecans and these chocolate chunks are my two staples in my banana bread. And my third staple is coconut, but I haven't seen them. Um, they haven't had coconut in the store for quite some time now since I've been going. So that I'm on the lookout for that, but that's the other thing that I love to put in my banana bread. Now, let me show you, uh, well, here's some books. I love to get their cookbooks. This is the Lady and Sons tool. Get that glare off of there. This is Paula Dean, and she looks real crazy in that picture. <laughs> that doesn't even really look like her, but it looks like her. I think that's her. It's got to be her and her two sons, but she looks real Southern. I'll just put it that way. 
um, this book, it, it feels very much like a book that you would make yourself. Like, uh, I think they wanted to give it like a home style feeling. I'm trying to peel this label off to see what it sold for. Of course, the label's acting up on me. You know, they cover up the backs of these books. They put these other, like, come on. Oh, here we go. USA. So this originally sold for $19.95. The reason I got this book is because Paula Dean has a YouTube channel that I come across every now and then. And she makes, like, normal food that I would actually probably make someday. So you see it's not a lot of pictures or anything, but for me, I got this book again because I know she doesn't have all that extravagant food that I don't eat. So I went ahead and purchased it for that reason because I might actually make something out of this book. Now, I don't generally get books that don't have pictures, <laughs> kind of like kids. If there's no pictures, the book is no good. But in this instance, like I said, she makes good old American food, so I went decided to go ahead and try that book. Now, the Nutri-Blender Recipe Bible, I don't have a Nutri-Blender, but I have a Vitamix. So I figure it's just as well. And they have like a lot of uh, recipes for different juices, how to make coconut milk and cashew milk and different soups. So the same things that people like, I don't like avocado though, so I will never do that. But the same thing that people use... Um, the Nutri Blender for, I'm sure I could do the same thing in my Vitamix. So this I thought was a great book to have in my arsenal. Then the next book that I found is called The Snacking Dead. Oh, did you want to know the price on this one? Dang it. I keep putting these labels on here. I don't want to slow things down. I'm trying to peel off the labels. Let me give it just a good old one, two, not going to take too long. It doesn't come up. There we go. USA, 1999. So that's what this one sold for. This one, the Snacking Dead. Let's just go ahead and mess with this label right now. This one feels like it might be a little difficile. Okay, this one was also 1999. So this is 1999 day for this book. So this one is called The Snacking Dead. Now this is one of the books, yeah. This is one of the books. Can you see it? Is it me just moving? Or is it better this way? Anyways, The Snacking Dead. Look at that sandwich on the back. Mmm, that's delicious. Now I don't know that you truly need a recipe to make a sub sandwich, but this is the front of the book, and then if you open it up, it's got, if I can come through some pages. So that looks like uh, some kind of, well, it says Wings of Disaster. Um, what is this? Angel of Death Brown Sugar Bacon Bites. So it sounds like food that people actually eat, would really snack on. I don't like those super exotic ones, like I wouldn't make them. Um, and I'm not big on seafood, I will say that. But it looks to have um, decent recipes that, you know, you might like to make, like nail biter chicken fingers. And then there is a, a section. I This looks like shepherd's pie. What do they call it? Chupacabra. But it looks like from the picture like a shepherd's pie. Like I would try something like that. And then they had, I thought I saw a section here with drinks. But you get the idea. It's a book on, oh, see, here's one. The um, the king, what does that say? The one-eyed king, so those are devil eggs. So, yeah, The Snacking Dead. So it was another $20 book. And then this is a book that I saw, Baking with the Brass Sisters. Now, you say, why would you buy this book? of these two little old Jewish ladies. Well, I watch them on PBS and they're really cute and fun and they have decent recipes. What they, their specialty is they would take, at least on the show, they would take recipes and kind of, they would like take standard recipes, like let's say an apple pie and a chocolate chip cookie and then create a new recipe combining those two items. I don't know if that's what they do in this book, but 
this book, I'll bet you it was, I'm going to say this was more than $20. So let's see what I find. Yep, this book was 30 bucks, $29.99. And this book is a hardcover book. It's nice and thick. Let's see what kind of, what it looks like in the middle here. I can flip through some pictures. <laughs> so awkward here. All right, so let me just find some for you. So there's like a, what is this? A chocolate chess pie. That sounds good. Um, and then they have a lot of recipes. They seem to have more recipes than pictures. I know this is awkward, but I'm so close on the computer. I want to bump it now. Look at that. This is polka dot chocolate bars, which look like brownies with nuts in it. That's right up my alley. Um, but yeah, this is a great book. I think I would definitely cook stuff out of this book. And a lot of the other things, they give you a lot of tips in here. As it says, over 125 recipes for classic cakes, pies, cookies, breads, desserts, and savories from America's favorite home bakeries. So it sounds pretty standard. I mean, if you just look at the picture right here, it doesn't seem like too far-fetched of items that I wouldn't cook because... Like I say, I'm picky. I don't eat mushrooms. I don't like avocado. There's a lot of things that I don't like, like seafood and mussels and all uh, that slimy looking seafood. So I'm very picky about the stuff that I would actually cook. Now, this I thought was a great, great uh, item. I'm looking for the price here because I think this is a great deal. There's no sticker on this. Oh, $24.95. Let's just get the price out of the way. It's down here at the bottom. $24.95. Now, this book, Holiday Paper Crafts. You open this book, and inside is this envelope that's filled with a bunch of different papers that you use to make the different craft that's in the book. Now, let's sum through a couple of these pages so it'll give you an idea of some of the crafts that they have. And they give you everything you need, probably to make it at least once. So we've got like, now obviously this is, you know, for Christmas time. Um, so that's some kind of Christmas tree deal. Tools and supplies. They'll tell you what you need right there. Now that doesn't come in here. I, in here it's just paper. You don't get those tools. But then they give you, they show you how to do basic folds, I guess, that you'll use in the book. Let me just show you a project or two. Like here's one. Here's an ornament made out of paper. And then another one is a dove, the candy holder dove. That's cute. And these are this is great because once you do use the paper, obviously you can continue to make these year round for any holiday. This is a classic bow. So is it the bow or the box and the bow? This is just the bow. I'll bet you that box has got to be in here somewhere. There's a paper lantern. Sorry, I just, this camera is opposite, so I keep going the wrong way. But you get the idea. But the one, and then I'll move on. The one that caught my eye was this little one right here, the origami tree. Make sure I get it right this time. And it's like a little Christmas tree that holds different little pansies. I thought that was fun, that you can just make that out of paper. So this is really neat. It's called the Holiday Paper Crafts. Um, and it says 25 beautifully designed crafts with step-by-step -step instructions, patterns, and stencils, origami paper, and decorative string. So it gives you the stencils, the paper, and the decorative string, as well as the patterns. So that would make a great gift in itself. I thought this was a great find. And then the very last book that I have, is called Romantic Prairie Style, Homes Inspired by Traditional Country Life. Now, this is funny because I don't like a country life design or decor, like that farmhouse stuff that everybody's uh, in love with, but that's basically what this book is, but I like looking at these books. And they, this one just has a lot of pictures, a lot of different ideas, and it to me, you can still, even though you don't like this decor, you can still get ideas from how they use this decor. But it's like every page is a picture that's showing you some kind of 
of styling design or idea. So this is a great book and it's a hard copy. Um, like this on the back, I have um, a day bed that doesn't look exactly like that, but it's definitely a farmhouse decor looking bed, but it has hearts on it and it's wrought iron like that. So if I could find some ideas in here on how to put that bed in my house. Now this book is USA $29.95, so $30. So yeah, that was some great books that I got today and some great savings on these books. If I had to pick a favorite, it would be that uh, paper one, the Christmas um, paper kit one. Now let's push all this aside and I want to show you this item here, which I also, I kind of grouped together and after I grouped it together, it kind of reminded me, or not, not remind me, but it looked like what a great gift this would make. And I just literally just stacked everything in it. But here it is. I'm going to try not to drop it and I'll pull everything out of it. So it's not a gift. I just threw everything in here. But isn't this cute? So fresh and so clean. And I'm going to show you what's in here. It's just stuff from my haul, but because I had it sitting up there, I thought, oh, that would make a great gift. Look at that. How cute. All right, so let me do, in case I want to do a thumbnail. <laughs> I'm going to have to have glasses on with my thumbnail, so let's try it again. Now. All right, maybe I can get some use out of that. All right, so what's in here is these mask remover sponges. And I know these have been hauled. I've seen people hauling these. It comes in the bag, so you can keep them in this bag as you use them if you take them on a trip somewhere. It says uh, spa quality. And everybody, not everybody, but I know, sorry for my dirty fingernails, but you know, natural hair care, can't help it. Um, mask remover sponges. This brand, Eco Tools, is a well-known brand. I know they sell this brand at uh, at least Thrifties and CVS and all those stores because I came across them when I was uh, doing my extreme couponing. So I'm I'm very familiar with Eco Tools. Um, they also had this color correcting, color perfecting minis. These little small mini. Um, what do they call these things? That's what this one is. What do you guys call them? A blender. They're like little tiny blenders, like real little tiny blenders. So I guess to get those little hard to reach spots or where you want to be very detailed and specific, and you just need to hit a little area. So they've got them color coded. So I, because I guess there are different colors of what's that stuff? Concealer. So I don't know, but came with that. And then they, I mean, it came with that. They have that. Then they have this larger one, and this is like a blender on a stick, maybe. Contour perfecting applicator, best with bronzers and highlighters. Okay, so I could use something like this for a little blush that I use here and there. Now here's another package of mask remover sponges. Now not to be confused with this one. This one gives you two, this one gives you three. However, they're called the same thing. And they both say the same thing for quick mess free removal. So what's the difference? That's a good question. I don't know. I can tell you in my hand, these are soft and these they're soft, but they look a little drier compared. These look more moist. They look a little thicker than those. Can't see the thickness really in here. Can't show it on the screen because of the side part, but these are definitely thicker than these which is why i feel like these are drier but they're not hard but they look like they're harder so i don't know what the difference is it could just be packaging i don't know but in any case here's an equal tool item that uh facial cone jack sponge cognac sponge or cone jack i don't know if the j is silent or wow so facial cognac sponge i'll just keep it silent and it's supposed to be for sensitive skin. Let's see what it actually says on here. Um, for gentle cleansing, 
sponge made with 100% vegetable fiber. For sensitive, oh yeah, it says it right here, for sensitive skin. So if you have sensitive skin, it's hard though. It feels hard. So I guess when you wet it, maybe it softens up. It would have to be the case because there's no way it's for sensitive skin this hard. And it looks like it has a little string on there. If you can see closely in the packaging, there's a little string right here. So you could probably use it and then hang it on um, a hook or somewhere in your shower. But yeah, you don't want to leave that one out. <clears throat> they had that. And then I got uh, some vitamin E that I threw in this basket because I was like, oh, this would make a cute gift because vitamin E is good for your face, for your skin, for smoother, softer skin. But I got this because I use this in my little natural hair concoctions when I'm enriching whatever product I use. And then they had this um, pink Himalayan, Himalayan pink salt bath salt. Um, I walk every day and I exercise every day and my feet pay for it, which is why, like I say, I, I need socks that aren't cheap because I walk a lot. So I need good socks that have good quality and good push. And then I also like to soak them and treat them with some uh, a little bath salt and my little, what is that thing called? It's not a massager thing, but you know that thing that turns and you can scrape the dead skin off your feet. I'm drawing a blank. What is it called? Because it's like you have one for your fingernail. Anyways, that thing. If I remember it, I'll come back. But anyway, this is great. It's a pink salt bath salt um, a package of bath salt. And it's got this cute little bag that's shaped like a mason jar, but it's a Ziploc. I know you guys have seen these. They came out and these are really neat. So you can reuse this bag once you're done with it. And you can put other things in it. So I thought that that was cute. Um, it's always great when you can repurpose the packaging. And then they had this so fresh and so clean little two-piece, uh, what do they call this, washcloth set. This is something because of quality, and they also had the wash, what do they call this one, uh, the hand towel. So the washcloth and the hand towel. They had this set, and they had two other ones, one in white, and they had one in black. And the black one said, I think, just bath, and then the white one said, can't remember the saying on that one but this is the one that I like because of the color and the saying reminded me of that song so fresh and so clean dun, 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 so fresh and so clean if you know the song hit the like button all right so anyways it had this set now these are cute they're not super thick high quality so in my opinion this goes well in my mermaid bathroom because of the color so I don't plan to really use these. I plan to just put these out to just look cute. Um, but if you start using them, I'm sure the quality is gonna fade very quickly, especially on the wording, because this is just a very thin layer of that wording um, laminated or ironed on there. And then the last thing, and I'll let you go, is this cute little trash can that I had everything in. And you see the little flip? So this is great if you want to sit it by your kitchen sink. Um, these are the things I use this for. You sit it by your kitchen sink. And when you have like uh, like cucumber peels or um, eggshells, little stuff that's moist that you want to put like a little plastic bag in here and put those things in here. And as it fills up, you throw them out so it doesn't stink up your trash. So all the things that kind of will stink up your trash that you want to get rid of, um, maybe more often than the trash before the trash bag gets full you can create a little separate one and just throw this out um, and i also use this for things like when i'm detangling my hair i put a, a plastic bag in here put all my detangled hair in here and then when it fills up i burn it now that's an old school thing my mother used to burn hair they had these old folk superstitions that somebody could get your hair and make some kind of voodoo doll or something and so from that i don't know that that's the case but I, in this world today i won't outrule anything but from so since i've been on this planet i've always burned my hair i've saved it in a container until that container was full and then when i get a big old ball of you know um shed hair i light it up and burn it 
So that way nobody can make a voodoo doll out of me and make me do something I don't want to do. So last thing I'll say, this is a trash can, like a mini trash can. And I thought, and this just to give you guys this idea, and I may do a video and put this together again, but just think about the theme. So fresh and so clean. And this is a trash can, like... I don't know. I just lost my thought. It didn't make sense anymore. They also had this pink one. You know I had to get pink. You know, if you know me, you know I love, 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 love pink. Same idea. It's like a little mini trash can if you didn't even want to put the lid on it, like a, a no cover trash can. And then you put the lid on it. I thought these were so neat. They're so cute. And they're they're pretty big, actually, too. Um, let me put it in perspective for you. So here is the trash can, and here's this uh, body wash. Um, that kind of helps give you an idea of how big that is. But it's a good size. It's a good size trash can. I do see two more things here, though, and then I'm really going to let you go. These are old. They're not new. But I want to specifically share these with you to let you know that I didn't like them. <laughs> these I thought would be great because Nivea is a great brand in itself. Now these, they're foamy. They're, they're, to me, they remind me of shaving cream and they just come out so fluffy and so foamy. Normally when you use stuff like a, ba a body wash or a bath wash, it foams up in your rag. This doesn't do that. It comes out foamy already. So there's not a whole lot that happens once I just don't like them it's just too foamy if I had to summarize but I just wanted to make mention of that because that's why I have these you might like them if you got them but just know they're like a shaving cream and this one is vanilla caramel or caramel and then this one is I think it's just a regular scent because it doesn't have a specific uh name or scent on it so I guess it's just a regular scent but yeah I didn't like them they came out too foamy they're nice and light so if you like something that's real light and real foamy this might be for you but for me it was a no-go and um, but I think other people out there have purchased them and really enjoyed them I just wanted to give you my point of view um, so that's my haul for right now I have other stuff that I want to try and get hauled for you but for right now I'm gonna end it right here I hope everybody's doing well. You guys stay safe. Um, keep wearing those masks so we can get out of this prison. But in the meantime, don't go crazy. Do something around your house. You know, spend time with your family. Focus on the light. What is the good that's coming out of this? Focus on that because there is some good. There's always going to be bad everywhere we go. But if you hold on to the light, hold on to the good, and appreciate those things and hopefully it'll make the time fly by much faster. So on that note, I'm going to end this video and say thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting the like button. If you like my style of craziness in vlogging, I mean in hauling, then go ahead and subscribe and I'll bring you more. And there's other things I'd like to share if I get the time to do it. Um, but in the meantime, we're going to start off slow and, uh, just leave it right there because I'll start rambling. You guys have a great day, great night, great evening, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.